Well, hello, it's Bears back. I thought I'd do a follow-up on this uh, this Matlock uh, 1509 um, and the other one, the 2508. Um, this one came with a a core that I wasn't really happy with uh, because it's an anti-bump core. I'll explain that in a minute. So what I did is I I'd bought a bunch of cores a long time ago from like Mr. Locke Masters and Americans and uh, they came with a couple of keys and this is 700B 7000B um, and they come cut and they've got serrated and spool pins in them and so I just put one of those in this uh, because it has a master tailpiece so um, now I've got one that I'm happy with the security of outside and inside. Um, but let me tell you why I wasn't happy with this core. This could have been a great core like that other one, the, the 25 old, old, old five? The 25 old, I don't remember, 2508. Uh, the square one that I did. Um, and I'll tell you why I don't like this one, I mean, it's great. You got the anti-drill and all that, you know, idea. But once you do one of these bump key things, get one of these bump key cores, you just took away a ton of security out of this lock. You may not, it may not be so easy to bump, but you can rake it right open. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you, and I'm going to try to uh, to see if one pin will make this tougher uh, and if it does hey that'll help but the reason I'm saying it, it, it makes it easier is because if you see this right in here a number six here is easiest to see uh, it's opened up at the top so if you get anywhere close to the top those pins just shoot right up into the Bible your, your, your drivers just shoot right up in the Bible and you hit shear line like that and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Now this is what I set this up to be uh, what I thought a bump pin should do. Should it be on a uh, real short um, pin because you bump it, it shoots up through this gap and maybe just barely touches the bottom of that and drops back down because uh, it's hitting nothing but air. But it also has this stronger, I don't know if you can see that, it's a stronger uh, spring on top to keep this held down even if that does hit it. So that was the idea of the anti-bump. So I'm going to cut this a couple of times. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this back together just like this, show you how fast I can rake into it uh, with the snake rake. Uh, that I found that was so easy and then what I did let me let me put this pin down somewhere where I can find it um, this is the original key for these pins and all I did was take number four here uh, number four cut and I dropped it down I, let's see if you can see that to a number seven cut to see if that helped prevent me from raking it so easy. So we're gonna pin it up for this, run it, and then take it apart. You're not gonna have to watch all that. Take it apart, put it back together, and run it with this pin in that spot. So that's what I thought we'd do. And you know what? I got such great feedback from a lot of people. Gave me a lot of more ideas about videos or just trying stuff, you know, see if it works. So, I'll be back. Thanks for watching so far. Okay, we got it back together. I got it in my little handheld holder. It's not as good as a, something back here that I can hold on to, but we're going to give that a this a shot. Um, so... This is with the original pins. I should, I'll show you the key in a minute. And this is with the snake. 
um, with those pins in there. Uh, okay, hold on. I'm trying to get a grip on this. Sorry. Um, all right, so we're going to go in and um, there we go. We're in. So I don't know how long that took, but it wasn't very long. So um, we'll tear the back apart. And oh, I was going to show you with the original key that this is the original key. Um, original pins. Got a little click in there, but um, so let's tear it. We're going to tear it back apart and go for the change in pins and see what happens then. Okay. Okay, now we've changed to this key. Uh, there's your old pin. There's your old key. Uh, we're loaded up. If I can get the key in. There you go. Lock works. Now, let's see if it helped. If I can get a hold of this just right so I don't mess this up. All right. Sorry, guys. It's going to take a little finessing here. I'm losing my grip. I need I needed to make this sticker. I needed to do two of these and put them together, but I just didn't do it. Poor, poor, pitiful me, huh? <laughs> okay, now light tension like we did the other one, like you always do when you're racking or raking. And let's give it a shot. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. That's. I slipped, guys. Okay, we'll go back and we'll try her again. Okay, I got one click. Um, I know I set the back pin. Um, I'm gonna rock a little bit. Kind of twist rock. I got I can hear more of them clicking. I'm just losing my tension wrench. That's what's going on here. You could hear a couple clicks there when I let off of it. Let's try it again. Nice and light. Heard that first click. Losing my tension wrench. Okay, guys, I'm going to call this a success. And just the fact that it's not coming open, dude. <laughs> it's not coming open at all. Um, I'm losing it. Uh, let me try one more. Okay. I got a kind of a fault. I got a fault set, but it's just not finishing. Where am I missing? I don't think it's the back. Wow. That made a big difference, folks. I can tell you that right now. I may have gotten many overset by doing that. I'm going to try to ease off and just try to use the tip of this to. just lost me that did good I'm amazed at how well that did with just changing that pin um, I'm gonna give it more tries and and uh, I'll see if I can come up with a, a quicker open but not right now <laughs> I think I proved the point of changing the bidding can change the whole outcome of the lot so there you go. Thanks for watching. 
and stay legal and have fun. Just a quick note, I have SPP'd this a couple of times uh, and I'm going to do it a few times more and if it's the way it's been doing it right now, I may put this lock back in to that, uh, I mean put this core back into that lock uh, and just cut the other key to that. It, uh, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong about that uh, little uh, divot cutout, but somebody else, I'll tell you, somebody else who's whoever runs into those, try one against the other and see if it's easier or harder. Um, the straight cylinders are the ones that are uh, augged out at the top, but um, I'm going to try this a couple more times um, and see about uh, if it's good enough to put back in so I have the original key to go with it, you know. Okay, bye.